County, of course, are cleaning up still from that suspected tornado and help is on the way. There are actually trucks loaded with rakes, gloves, trash bags, a lot of other supplies. Yeah, judging by the video, they could use all the help they can get. A group from Atlanta is putting this all together. Atlanta News First reporter Madeline Montgomery live at the Caring for Other Others headquarters in South Atlanta with how you can help. Madeline? I'm out here outside the headquarters and you can see they have everything you could possibly need to clean up all of that mess out here. You have all of the shovels. There's different cleaning supplies like paper towels, water bottles for all of the volunteers. And it's going to be a daunting task, but they say all you have to do is pick up some gear and start working. A lifetime worth of memories blown away. I think it's the closest thing to death if you ever went through it. Entire homes and businesses ripped apart by this past weekend storms. The cleanup can be daunting. It's a mess, but we got to roll up our sleeves and go. We can't sit upon our sit upon. There are people that need help. Let's go get it done. That's where Caring for Others comes in. Caring for Others is a human services organization that focuses on poverty eradication. So in times like these where you have disasters, Caring for Others will step in because whenever there is a disaster, poverty arises more. The nonprofit is based out of a warehouse in South Atlanta. They stay ready to go to assist after disasters. We always will store products for the next disaster because you never know when, how, and what would be the, the size of the devastation. So we are always doing things to make sure that we have the supplies on hand ready and they could always use donations, especially now as they head to Troop County and next week when they go to Mississippi gloves, cleaning supplies, paper towels. We need some water. We need rakes. We need shovels. All of the things that you would need right away to clean up debris. Cleaning all of this up can be overwhelming, but Caring for Others founder and CEO Eslyn Richmond Shockley says it is absolutely worth it. It is awesome just to know that people are so grateful to have you. They show their appreciation. They show their love. You see the tears in their, their eyes. They are so appreciative that someone care. Crews are just arriving to load all of this into this van and they're going to be taking off this afternoon and they said they're probably going to be heading back tomorrow to bring more supplies. If you want to bring over some supplies here to the headquarters to donate or if you want to make a monetary donation, we have all that information on AtlantaNewsFirst.com and on our app. Reporting live in South Atlanta, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First. Madeline, thanks.